Hello everyone, welcome again to my YouTube channel. My name is Moses and we are learning data structures and algorithm. This channel is called Coding Interview. So for today's video, we're going to connect our GitHub account to our Atom text editor. We want to do this so that each time we are coding, we want to put our code directly to our GitHub repository. So we're going to do this in the most simplest, in the simplest way possible. So, so for today's video, we're going to show how to connect your Atom text editor to GitHub the quickest and easiest way. If you already have a GitHub account, please go ahead and sign in. If you don't, you need to go to github.com and sign in. I already have a GitHub account, so I'm just going to sign in. So here are my two repositories in my GitHub. I have CSCI tutorials, data structures and algorithms, and then a testing. So if you want, you can create a new repository, but I'm going to clone this repository. So I'm going to click on the repository and then it will say clone or download. I will copy the link so that I can clone or download it to my Atom text editor. So I'm open my Atom text editor. If you already have an Atom text editor, you need to open a new window so that it can be uh, something new so that there is no conflict when you are connecting it to GitHub. So the next step we need to do, we have to say Control Shift and P on our desktop. And then we want to type in GitHub colon space clone and then we'll go there and what we need to do we need to paste in the link we copied from our github so after that it will tell you to which directory that you want to save it so i want to save it to my desktop and i'm going to put it after my username and then put it on desktop and maybe give a file that's going to say spring 2020 slash github and then I will click on clone so this is going to clone it okay guys um, this is my repository that has been cloned I have some files say hello testing only and testing.py so I can create in a new extra file just to test new file and then call it as test two 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 dot py so this is test two 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 dot py and i can make a print statement that is just going to say print this is testing i want to save that but this file that we have created is not yet in our github repository we can see it so we do not have test 222 so what do we need to do the next step is that we have to authorize atom text editor for github so in order for us to authorize atom text editor we need to go to github.atom.io slash login and we want to say authorize atom this will take us to a token so after you have authorized it it will show you sign in to github for atom your github token so you need to copy that token and go to your atom text editor in the atom text editor you need to log into github in order to do that you can order either press github and then it will show you the login and when you do the login you need to paste in the token that you have copied so after you've logged in you can see this one that's going to tell you that you have successfully um, connected your atom text editor to github so that is it guys um we're just going to try and see if um, just for testing purpose so now we see this testing 222.py this file we need to make um, push it to our github repository 
So in order to do that, we need to go to Git and then we see on stage changes. We can stage all of our changes and we can add a commit message which can say add a testing and we can commit to master or you create a new branch so i have just committed to master we can see the testing 222.py here it's no longer in green so but it has not been put to our github repository so what we have to do we have to push right here below so i can click on push it's pushing to remote and it's saying invalid username or password i want to try it again it's still pushing so it has successfully pushed we can see now fetch that means if we go to our repository we can see this file testing 222.py and then we can see this is testing so over here i want to refresh my page so that i can see the testing 222.py and then this is testing so that is it um that's how you can connect your atom text editor to github very easy if you like this Congratulations guys, you've successfully connected your GitHub account to your Atom text editor. That is a good step. So thank you for watching and watch out for the next video that is in line. And let's keep on learning. If you've not subscribed yet, please subscribe and also please do like this video. That's how YouTube analytics will make this video to be popular and other people can find this YouTube channel. And let's learn data structures and algorithm so we can get the job that we really, really want. Thank you for watching and thank you for your time. I will see you again next time. Peace. Bye.